Hello everybody, my name is Suzuki. welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. where I left off, we took on Bugsy and got our second gym badge. Um, and yeah, some nightmares happened, it's okay. Quaz, you're actually doing worse, so you get out there. In terms of levels, I mean. Um, how are you loving me? You're pretty happy. The scent of smoke, what? I'm assuming it's from here, but I didn't realize that was a thing that was programmed in. If I move over here, will he will catch the scent of smoke? Yes, he will. Weird. Okay, well, let's head out this way. And, oh, we get stopped. By the devil's son himself. Mr. Sin, tell me something. Is it true the Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. So as soon as you, um, try to leave, Mr. Sin will come here and fight you. So is your uh, second second rival battle? Is it second or third? I think it's second. Uh, if you include the very first one. He has a Ghastly, which you couldn't catch at, the, in ni at night time in Sprout Tower. And I knew that. I should have kept the count out, actually. I don't know why I didn't. What a mean look he's giving me. Uh, either way, you're gonna get deaded, so... I would keep walking if I were- or floating if I were you. I would look somewhere else. Croconaw. Okay, I have to switch stay out for that, for obvious reasons. Um... Does he have Ice Fang at this point? I don't think he does, right? If he does, that might be an issue. He's Bite, okay? Does he have Ice Fang? Damn it. Damn it. Okay, he could kill me. This is gonna be a tougher fight than I thought, because I'm actually underleveled. And I really need this Supersonic to hit, so if it could, that would be great. I would be grateful. Thank you, and don't last two turns, please, or one turn. Please at least last. Ah, uh, god, when do I learn Ghost? Uh, ghost? I keep saying Ghost. I mean to say, what's it called, Ray? Confuse Ray. Thank you. You do yourself some damage because I know you're strong. I'll keep flapping my wings over here. Don't you worry. Okay, you're probably not going to hit yourself this time around. Ew! Thank you. You're dead. Oh, maybe. I could be. Yeah, yeah maybe he's not dead. Okay, he's dead. Thank God. I was worried there. For, uh, well, it's kind of obvious I was worried. Level 19, nice. And Zubat. Okay, I'll switch over to Quasimodo. Hopefully, I mean, I don't think Zubat will be able to do anything to me. That's too threatening. Um, Ember, I guess, the best bet here. I hope I can go for the burn. No, no burn. Okay, but you're dead anyway. I have quick attack. Uh, that's ridiculous. There's no way I could lose to a wimp like you. And yet, here we are. You're at the end of your rope. You're at the end of your rope. You're not approaching it or anything like that. You're there. And any new any new moves? Yeah, defeated him. I hate the weak Pokemon trainers. I don't. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. I think they're big and tough as long as they are in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them. I beat them as a group, so you be quiet. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. You just repeated yourself, idiot. Um, now I have to go back and heal again. Waste of my time. You also do not have cut, so don't freaking lie to me. You're not gonna get past that tree. You're gonna get stuck in the forest, get lost, and get attacked by bugs. Next time I see you, you'll have things like hornet stings all over your face.
All right, well, uh, I have repels, correct? I do. And I have what I'm looking for. So we're going to actually go off into Ilex Forest, obviously, and um, maybe try to catch a Paris? Let's see if we can catch it at night. Uh, maybe night's not a good time. Oh, there's a guy there. Uh, did you guy? Did you by any chance see a really a mean and rude red-headed demon child thing come through here? By any chance? No? Just thought I didn't think so. It's probably hiding in the tree somewhere. That took a really long time to run into a battle to a trainer. Uh, that's weird. Uh, are you a Paris? You are not. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut until I run into a Paris. So I will see you guys in a second. Haha, <laughs> so I'm smart. Um, the chance of running into a Paris in Ilex, for Ilex, Ilex Forest in the day or morning is 15%, and in the night is 15%. It is clearly not morning. And so I was looking into whether it's considered nighttime right now. I mean, it looks dark, and it's 7.35 at the time of recording right now. Uh, we can take a look at our Poke Gear to figure out what time it is. Uh, I also went and changed the Poke Gear background because I didn't know you could do that. Do that over here. Anyway, um, nighttime begins promptly. Oh, by the way, yes, in the daytime, which is everything between morning and night, uh, it's zero percent chance of running into Paris. Nighttime begins promptly at eight o'clock, and promptly ends at three hundred three fifty-nine a.m. So it's impossible for me to catch one for another twenty-four minutes. And I'm not waiting 24 minutes for no reason, so I'm going to continue recording, and I'm going to come back here later on, and whoops, I have it on fast-forward mode. Anyway, let's talk to this guy, this nerdy-looking dude. I'm pretty sure this is the guy from the charcoal house. Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The far-fetched that, that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Far-fetched have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? Um, sure, I can give it a try. I've never... Never been much of a far-fetched wrangler, but I guess we could, we could go ahead and, uh, and do it. So if I step here, you'll look over here. Do I have to catch her from the back, or can I catch her from the side? That is the question. Nope, it has to be from the side. From, from the back, I mean. Alright, well, that's... Dumb. And there's wild Pokemon. I forgot. I should put on a... Uh, it's hard to remember that they're going to be just randomly there because there's no tall grass. And it's not a cave. But technically this is considered a dungeon. So the ground, the grass acts like, uh, I guess, dungeon floor. So you can run into wild Pokemon. So, uh... Gotta repel up. Alright, so now, now he should be looking forward. No, he's looking back. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go step on that thing once again. And then go up behind him. And running is actually a lot slower than it used to be for some reason. I, I mean, it was fast at the beginning because it was dim because it was faster than normal walking. Now it just seems really slow. Qua! And you snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed. Wow, you found Farfetch, thank you. But there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way, remember? That's your chance to catch it. Sneak up on it slowly from behind. In so the original game, you didn't there wasn't two of them. Um Instead you just have to lead one of them back here. And not by stepping on branches, but by sneaking up behind it, and it'll run away from you in a certain way, I, I believe. If, if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken completely. But I, I and then I think you just have to do that and chase it back to here. Instead of just picking it up from behind. So, uh, the believe the second one's over in this direction. Revive, always useful. I could have used that back in the last gym fight, but that's alright. Um, I, I mean, I could have gotten that for the gym fight, too. That's the thing. Anyway, so let's go back this way. And I don't remember where he... Okay, he's there. And if I do that, it 
talk to this way. And it'll go over there. Okay, repel. I'm running through repels really quickly. Like, I want repels for the rest of this forest, and we haven't even passed the tree at the beginning. Um, so if I do this, it'll look over here. And then if I do this, it'll look back here. But there's no way around this is there. No. So I have to confront it like this and see where it runs. Runs here. Well, what the crap do I do? Hmm. Well, I guess I have to chase it back up. Or maybe I chase it the other way? Let's try doing it the other way. This is me this is me wasting repels like a boss. So uh follow exactly what I do. Oh, it just goes back there. Okay, well let's let's keep going then. Yep. And do it again, maybe? I know what I'm supposed to do, I just don't know how to get to it. Um, maybe this? And if I step on this, will he look down here? I can't tell. He will not, because he's off screen when that happens. Okay, well, I can approach him from behind, but then I'll trigger... I only have one more repel, and then it'll get really annoying. Okay, I have him looking that way. Now, how do I get him... Get to run down now, right? Yeah. I don't, I'm, this isn't that hard, guys. I know it isn't, so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let me chase him. Up here. Yeah, that's my last repel. And now we're going to have to contend with this. Level 5 Weedles. Alright, I'm going to make an example of you. Uh, so take that boring corpse of yours and, and go back to your friends and be like, this is what he did to me, stay the F off. away." Oh, something along the lines of that. I don't, I don't know, say something like that. I mean, you're dead, so I mean, your, your body will speak louder than words. Unless you scream those words, because then your body will be quieter. I'm being really dumb about this. Like, really dumb. How am I not figuring this out? I have no idea. Hey, what? Oh, what? No. I was lied to. The internet lied to me. It is not 8 o'clock, but I ran into a Paris. Someone go tell the internet they were wrong because that is breaking news. Call up all the stations and be like, whoa, the internet was not correct. What the crap? Okay, I have a Paris. Well, I'm about to have a Paris. Okay, and you're gonna be my slave V. No, you're just gonna be my slave. I have my slave V, but now I need my slave. And that'll be you, bug grass man. You will be. I'm gonna do this with a mouse, it's a lot easier. You will be my. I guess I can go with an uppercase. Yeah. I'm a slave. Boom. Okay, well that's one thing down. Uh, now if I could just do this. Hey ho. I and I'm not being mean when I say that. I'm just saying hi. 
Oh, oh. What if I do that? Oh, I think I'm really dumb. I think I've just figured it out. Ah, that Weedle didn't tell the Cocoonas about me, just the other Weedles. Yeah, I'm so dumb. Okay, I just figured it out. <sighs> I'm dumb. You step here. Uh, then you walk back over here around this one. Uh, run into a wild Pokemon because you wasted three repels. Okay, the Weedles didn't get the message. I know they're stupid, but come on, keep up. And then you go... No! You don't do that. What is with this... All of a sudden, I'm running into them? I swear, when I first walked in here, I was, I was very sparsely walking into to wild Pokemon. You go back here, and then you'd be like, Hey, you're mine. I mean, wild Pokemon, hey, you're not mine. Also, I was lied to. Clearly, it's not 0%. Maybe it's 5% that you run into the Parises, by the way. I forgot to mention the 5% is probably what it is. So I've recreated science of Pokemon. There you go. And thank God. Wow, you've got them both. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. That seems like an oversight of your boss. That's pretty messed up. And I wonder who that guy is whose hair is clipping in and out of the trees. Ah, my far and fetched. <laughs> you found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. And we get HMO1, which is obviously cut. Um, that's the HM cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. But you have to have the gym badge. Uh, thank you. You knew that. So now he's so now he's telling me he just subjected his employee to hell because he wanted to make a joke. Because he clearly knows that it wouldn't work for his employee. And Maslave, you learn cut. And in fact, Maslave, you also learn Rock Smash. Doesn't really matter what I got rid of, but whatever. I and be, even though this episode's probably really short, or really long, really short, uh, because I just I blundered. So I'm gonna show you one. I'm actually gonna show you one more thing before we end off the episode. I was gonna end up there, but I remembered I have to do some one more thing. So I don't know if you saw this, but wait, what? Were you always there, lady? Yeah, there's a protector of the forest. Anyway, um. City. There we go. Azalea Town. Um, it's... The game is running a bit slow. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, let's go to the shop. Buy some repels. Can I afford ten? I cannot afford ten. I can afford nine. Is it worth spending all my money on... Whatever. I just want as much repels as I can. And... Did you... No, okay. Anyway. If you come down here to the charcoal kiln now... This guy will be here again, and you can be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And talk to this guy. And he'll give you a charcoal, which obviously powers up fire-type moves. In the original game, you could buy a charcoal from the shop for like $9,800. But you can also get this free one. And a lot of people don't get the free one for some reason. And game, did you... No, don't crash on me. Please, please, I haven't saved in a long time. Come on, don't do it. Alright guys, it's done it. I'm going to call the episode there, and I will see you guys next time.